Hi everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel. As always, our man from the Bank of Montreal, who looks like the saint today with his, uh, his black polo shirt on. Uh, we have, of course, Asad Naim, the mortgage specialist, who's with us as always. And we're going to talk about short-term rental rentals today, how to apply for a mortgage to get one, Asad, yeah? Um, yep. And we're short, talking about, obviously, STR, short-term yep. rentals, but places like Canmore make it interesting as well. So take us into that, buddy. What's the chances if someone's in Calgary or wherever thinking of buying in Canmore, then BMO gives them the opportunity to get the mortgage to do so, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. So prior to June of 2023, or just earlier this year, uh, the only banks that were able to entertain short-term rental properties were CIBC and TD. But the Bank of Montreal, BMO, has joined the game as well. And it's a great, great opportunity for not just BMO clients, but other clients looking to buy short-term rental properties in places such as Canmore Bank. And the reason why this topic comes up today is because not too long ago, um, there was news of developments that are going to be starting in the Canmore region around the Three Sisters Parkway yeah. for a lot of residential, short-term rental properties and commercial as well. So definitely lucrative investment pro opportunities for people all over Canada or anybody who's looking to buy a vacation home or a second home in that region. Um, so this is geared towards them. And um, it, it's quite simple, uh, but you know th there are some rules and regulations that you got to follow, right? Uh, for example, the first one is the property has to be zoned as a short-term rental itself, right? And if it is zoned for short-term rental, then you have to have a minimum of 25% down payment. Now that over there is not negotiable. It has to be a minimum of 25%. Of course, you can do more than 25% as well. And we can use future rental markets for what that property is going to produce once it's built or you know taken into possession. Even if it is still under construction or if it's never been rented out prior to your plan to do so. Um, if it is a short term rental property, instead of going with the route of the two years of history to show what rental income it can generate, we can take a fair market appraisal to see what a monthly figure would be for its uh, rental income. And unlike other banks that only take 50% of future income, BMO takes 80% of future income to help you mm -hmm. qualify for that property. So once again, BMO has a very robust uh, system in place where you know it actually helps you qualify as well. Um, not only that, um, of course, your insurance has to be in place and your intention should be to have that rented out and everything because you're buying the short term rental. But those right there are two major points over there that everyone should know. A minimum of 25% down payment and you can use 80% of future rental income towards your mortgage application to help you qualify for that as well. And then, you know, you can use other programs as well, such as if you are a savers and you have at least $100,000 in your savings or any investments, you can qualify as a BMO Savers Advantage program as well for that as well. And other programs you can use in conjunction. But yeah, more or less, that's how you can buy a rental property in popular places like Canmore and Bath now. And up there, there'll be various companies, I would imagine, um, that do the pools, you know what I mean? You could buy one probably and then put it into a pool, couldn't you? And there'll be companies that actually vet people and rent it out for you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, property management companies and then mm -hmm. uh, some of them actually being um, constructed right now are specifically just for short term rentals where you can buy the unit and then they'll have management staff at the, at the building itself that'll help maintain the building and provide day to day services for your short term rentals. Very good. Yeah. So let you say good investment and you'll walk them through it at the Bank of Montreal. You'll explain yep. it in full and no doubt and I'll Hopefully you get involved with the, with the houses that are available or the townhouses that are available as well. Okay, buddy. Well, I mean, that, that's it then. We'll, um, you've got a busy day on, so I'm going to let you go. And uh, we'll talk this time next week. And we'll have another we'll topic talk. for everyone. Thanks, yeah, Asad. Thanks. Wish you a good week, buddy. Yes, you. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to be notified of new ones.